For this B minor 7 variation, we're going to be barring the second fret with our first finger, and then we're going to have our second finger on the third fret of the B string, and our third finger is going to be on the fourth fret of the D string. Now a traditional B minor chord would have your fourth finger down on the fourth fret of the G string. And so by removing our fourth finger, that's what makes this a B minor 7 chord, because now we have the A note added to this chord, which is the seventh note of the B minor scale. Now playing bar chords lower down on the fret down here is typically harder because you have to press harder on the strings. So you want to make sure that you're pressing on the sweet spot of the fret with that bar with your first finger. And remember that when you do that bar, it's always better to try and press a little bit with the side of your finger, not so much on the pad because uh, that's the harder part of your finger and you're going to be able to get more pressure that way. For this B minor 7 variation, we're going to be using four fingers on the second and third fret of the guitar. Our first finger is going to be on the second fret of the A string. We have our second finger on the second fret of the G string and our third and fourth finger are going to be on the third fret of the B and high E string. Now the low E string and the D string are not part of this, so you can take your thumb to come across the top and just touch that low E string to mute it while you strum. Now for the D string, what you could do is let your first finger lay across it. While it's pressing down on the A string second fret, you can allow it to lay across the D string and mute it. Now with our pinky here on the third fret of the E string, that's going to give us a G note, which is actually the 13th note in the B minor scale. So this is technically a B minor 7, B13 chord if you want to get technical. Now this particular variation makes a great alternative to the B minor chord in the G chord family. And the reason for that is the similarity in shape between this chord and the G chord. So if you watch me switch from this chord to the G chord, you'll notice that the only thing changing is my second finger everything else is staying the same. So anytime you can have two chords that have that much similarity within each other, it makes transitioning just a lot, a lot easier. This B minor 7 variation is very similar to the second variation. The only difference is that we're going to take our fourth finger, our pinky, and we're going to remove it from the third fret of the, uh, the high E string, and we're going to put it on the fourth fret of the D string. So that pinky is going to give us our F sharp note back, which is the fifth note of the B minor scale. Now we don't want E to be a part of this chord, so the low E and the high E, we want it to be muted. So for the low E, what we can do is use our thumb just to touch that low E string, and that's going to mute that one. Now for the high E string, you're probably going to mute it on accident, but we want it to be muted. And that's probably going to happen with your first finger. The base of your first finger is probably going to be touching that string. If not, then you want it to. You want to get it there and let it touch that first, that high E string, so it mutes that string. We don't want either of those E's to be resonating while we strum this chord. Now you want to make sure that your pinky is coming straight down onto that D string and it's not coming in at an angle. Make sure to press with the tip of your finger, that way it's not going to be muting the G string behind it. For this B minor 7 variation, we're going to be making a bar chord all the way up here on the 7th fret. We're going to be barring that 7th fret with our 1st finger, and then we're going to take our 3rd finger and we're going to put it on the 9th fret of the A string. Now make sure while you're barring with that 1st finger that you want to press with the side of that finger as much as possible to get that good pressure, and make sure that you have good counter pressure with your thumb right behind your 1st finger. And then for your third finger, you want to make sure you're coming straight down onto that string and you're not coming in at an angle. You want to make sure that you're not muting the D string behind it. For this B minor 7 variation, we're going to be way up here on the 9th, 10th, and 11th fret. We're going to have our first finger on the 9th fret of the D string and our third finger is going to be on the 11th fret of the G string. And then we need to take our second finger and we need to bar the B and the E string on the 10th fret. Now in order to make that bar, you're going to have to press with the pad of your second finger. You won't be able to press with the tip because you need to be pressing two strings at the same time. So that just means you're going to have to push down really hard on that second finger. So make sure that you're pressing on the sweet spot of the fret. Now for your first finger, typically we want to come straight down onto the string, that way we're not muting the strings behind it. 
But for your first finger, it doesn't matter if you're muting the strings behind it because you're going to be pressing on the G, B, and E strings with your other fingers in front of your first finger. So that allows you to take your first finger and lay it down, and that lets you take your whole hand and come down with it, and that's really going to help you get a good clean sound with the bar with your second finger. Now you'll want to remember for this chord that the low E string and the A string are not part of it, so we're going to start our strum on the D string. This B minor 7 variation is a nice, easy alternative to some of the more complicated bar chords. We're going to take our first finger and we're going to put it on the third fret of the B string. We have our second finger on the fourth fret of the D string. Our third finger is also going to be on the fourth fret of the G string. And our fourth finger, our pinky, is going to be on the fifth fret of the high E string. Now you'll want to remember not to strum the low E and the A string. Those both are not going to be part of this chord, so we're going to start our strumming on the D string. <laughs> 